Mick is, in my opinion, one of the best living artists in Ireland. And over a period of time, I will think he will prove to be one of the best artists that Ireland has ever produced. Uh, so we've known about Mick and his work for some time, and uh, he would be, uh, always have been one of the people on our list that we would like to show in the gallery, like to bring to the West. So Mick said, leave it with him, and he came back to me. He said he had a very interesting group of paintings that he had put together over a four year period. They would include um, landscapes, interiors, um, portraits and nude studies. Uh, an unusual group of paintings are the interiors, you know, um, and I, I find myself particularly attracted, as a lot of people are to them. They're simply interiors, some of them are just a table with a, with a cloth on top of them. But it is the ability, a mixed ability to, to paint them and to get the best out of them and to bring life into them, you know. Common, common things that you would see every day are presented in such a way that they are absolutely beautiful and you feel they're beautiful. The main thing that pulls this show together is that it is a response to the motif that Mick sees in front of him. Some artists work from photographs, some from memory. This work is produced with the motif directly in front of the artist. For example, if he's painting landscapes, he's in the landscape. If he's painting portraits, he's in front of the individual he's painting. And interior is obviously the same. Now obviously there's a bit of working around that. Um, you know what I mean, it, it isn't all done um, it, magically over a few hours. It takes a, a good length of time. There was almost some, something there for everybody. So people would come down, let's say, there was a painting downstairs, it's called The Artist's Throne, which is basically the, the podium of the, 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 the DAs that Mick often puts his sitters on when he's painting them. But in this painting, all you have is that podium and, um, and the cloth on top of it. Uh, you would say, well, nobody would be interested in that. But that has been one of the most popular paintings in the whole show. People identify with it, they identify with the light that Mick is able to get into all his paintings, but particularly that one. Other people relate to the landscapes. They like the, the, the you know, the, the, particularly the landscapes in North May or Connemara, you know, they're classical landscapes, beautifully painted, and if you like that, you love these paintings. The, the portraiture, pe what people cannot get over is the capturing of the image, how Mick is able to capture the essence of the individuals, whether um, it's Jerry Sandbridge down there and people are amazed, you know, just amazed by how brilliant it is and, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is. As I said in the comment book, it comes up again and again, I'd love to have one of these, I'd love to live with these, I, you know, I love number 26 and 27 and I'll be back again and so on and so forth. So the response has been amazing.